first test run for the much-hyped Hyperloop One, new technology aimed at getting people from one destination to another at speeds of 700 miles per hour. 13 Action News reporter Michael Burton had a front row seat to the spectacle that so many have been waiting for. Three, two, one. And off she goes. Reaching 115 miles an hour in a matter of seconds. The key is that we've custom engineered this uh, propulsion system not only to do what you saw today, but to scale to a commercial system. That's right, this is just a test, the first of many. The final Hyperloop system will be able to shoot a vehicle 400 miles per hour in two seconds, so fast that it won't even need a track for the full trip. It'll float inside of a tube like this. We'll be levitating uh, and there'll also be some aerodynamic elements. Imagine a compressor on the front end of it, but the acceleration, that's the component that you saw tested today. At the start of any Hyperloop trip, a vehicle is pushed from its starting location using electromagnetic technology designed uniquely by the company. Today proved that the design works. The Hyperloop is expected to transport passengers up to 760 miles per hour. Just imagine sitting on a train going 700 miles an hour in this tunnel. That's the dream of Hyperloop One. And the massive tubes were on display for everyone to see only in North Las Vegas. I am so impressed. Uh, with Mayor Lee and um, the mayor's office. For giving Hyperloop the tools they need to revolutionize transportation. We came in um, ready to rumble and in terms of ready to start work right away. And we weren't sure that we were going to get matched with that kind of effort um, on the city side. And we were, so it was a real honor. Reporting from Apex Industrial Park, Michael Burton, 13 Action News. And we're the perfect city for this with all the commuters back and forth to L.A. and Orange County. Well, coming up at 